Hello, everyone. So here the question is, should I plot current versus voltage graph or voltage versus current graph? Which one is correct? And what is the importance of this? So whenever we plot a graph, you have learned in grade ninth, either you can plot distance versus time graph or velocity versus time graph. So in both of these cases, you plot time on the x-axis and distance or the velocity would be on the y-axis. So how do you choose? So here you need to understand which one of them is a dependent variable and which one is independent. So the independent variable will always go on the x-axis. So on the x-axis will have independent variable and on the y-axis we have dependent variable. But in the case of current and voltage, do you know any relationship between them? So the relationship between them is given by Ohm and that is called as Ohm's law. So Ohm's law says that voltage is directly proportional to the current and he, he got the equation that V is equal to I R. R is a resistance. So here you can either plot voltage versus current graph or current versus voltage graph and both of them are correct because voltage and current they are codependent variable. They depend on each other. So let's understand the properties of these two graph. So for example, if you have V versus I graph, so the voltage is on the Y axis, voltage or potential difference and current is on the X axis. So there's a linear graph. That means it follows the Ohm's law. If I choose one point on this graph, the X coordinate would be current, Y coordinate would be voltage. So I draw a line which is parallel to Y axis and parallel to X axis. So from this graph, can I get the slope? So the slope is nothing but rise versus rise divided by run. So what is rise? Rise is this height. That is the rise. And what is run? It is this length. So the slope or this graph is passing from origin, which is 0, 0. So rise is nothing but voltage or the potential difference. And run is nothing but the current. So V divided by I is nothing but our resistance value. So if you have V versus I graph, slope is equal to the resistance value. So higher the slope, higher would be the resistance. But let's suppose if we have current versus voltage graph, something like this, current versus voltage graph. So on the Y axis, we have current. On X axis, we have voltage. Again, there's a linear graph. That means it follows the Ohm's law. I choose one point on this graph. So the X coordinate would be voltage. Y coordinate would be current. It is passing through the origin, which is 0, 0. Again, I'll draw lines parallel to Y axis and parallel to X axis. So here, this is the rise. Rise is nothing but our current. And the run is nothing but voltage. So again, what is slope? Slope would be rise divided by run. So what is rise here? Rise is the current and run is the voltage. So that is nothing but 1 by R. So the slope for the I versus V graph, slope is given by 1 by R. So in this graph, if the slope is larger, resistance values would be lower and vice versa. So I hope this is clear. So you can plot both of these graphs. Just remember, if it is current versus voltage graph, slope is equal to 1 by R. And if it is voltage versus current graph, slope is equal to the resistance values. All right. So that's it for today. Thank you so much.